Okay, in this question, we're talking about the production possibility frontier curve. This is taken from Krug and Wells, Microeconomics, Chapter 2, Question 2. Um, so Atlantis is a small, isolated island in the South Pacific. The inhabitants grow potatoes and catch fish. The accompanying table below shows the maximum annual output combinations of potatoes and fish that can be produced. Um, obviously, given their limited resources and available technology, as they use more of the resources for potato production, there are fewer resources available for catching fish. Uh, so you can see associated with zero, sorry, with a thousand pounds of potatoes, uh, that means they're kind of spending all of their resources, all their labor, all their time uh, producing potatoes, leaving uh, no room left for fish, and so the quantity of fish produced is zero. Um, with 800 pounds of potatoes allows for 300 pounds of fish, 600 pounds of potato allows for 500 pounds of fish, 400 pounds for, of potatoes allows for 600 pounds of fish, 200 pounds of potato allows for 650 pounds of fish, and then dedicating all of the island's resources and time and energy on producing fish annually uh, leads to 675 pounds of fish, but no pounds of um, uh, of potatoes produced. Okay, so let's get to the questions. Draw a production possibility frontier uh, with potatoes on the horizontal axis and fish on the vertical axis, uh, illustrating these points, uh, showing uh, points A through F. Um, so I found this uh, posted on Pepperdine's website. Just one second. So illustrating this, remember with uh, quantity of potatoes on the horizontal axis and fish on the um, vertical. Uh, you can see the 1,000 pounds of potatoes is associated with zero pounds of fish. Similarly, the 675 pounds of fish is associated with zero pounds of potatoes, and then all the points in between, so going A, B, C, D, and E, and F. Okay, so the next question, B, uh, can Atlantis produce 500 pounds of fish and 800 pounds of potatoes? Explain uh, where would this point lie relative to the production possibility frontier curve. So the answer to this, for, uh, going to 500 pounds of fish, what is possible in terms of um, the quantity of potatoes produced? So with 500 pounds of fish, the quantity of potatoes possible is 600 pounds. Uh, so obviously this 500 pounds of fish, 800 pounds of potatoes point is not possible. Any point outside this line of the production possibility frontiers curve is just simply not possible. Um, question C, what is the opportunity cost of increasing the annual output of potatoes from 600 to 800? So what is the uh, opportunity cost of increasing the potato output from 600 here to 800 here? The opportunity cost is how much uh, fish production you lose. So by increasing potato production from 600 to 800, you're decreasing fish from 500 to 300. So the cost of increasing potatoes is the amount you lose of fish. So the opportunity cost of increasing annual input output of potatoes from 600 to 800 pounds is 200 pounds of fish. Turning to D, what is the opportunity cost of increasing the annual output of potatoes from 200 to 400 pounds? Well that here, um, the opportunity cost of going from 200 pounds of potatoes to 400 pounds of potatoes is how much we lose in terms of uh, fish production. So by increasing potato production from 200 to 400, we're decreasing fish by from 650 to 600. So we're decreasing it by 50 pounds of fish. So the opportunity cost of increasing the annual input of potatoes from, 400, from 200 here to the 400 is those 50 pounds of fish. Going to part E, can you explain why the answers in part C and D are not the same? What does this, does this imply about the slope of the production possibility frontier? Well, first off, it's because the slope from here to here and here to here from when we uh, increased potatoes from 200 to 400 and when we increased it to 600 to 800, when the change in the fish production changed, it's telling you that the slope is changing and changes depending on the quantity of potatoes. Um, so it's nice that they set the quantity of potatoes at these like nice discrete constant levels. So you go to 0, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. Because you could see how the opportunity cost in terms of fish production is changing. So for example, 
going from zero to 200 pounds of potatoes means you sacrifice very few pounds of fish, um, just 25 pounds of fish. You could think of if this was like a pure fish economy and they just started producing some potatoes, uh, you could think of that initial return as being, you know, you don't have to sacrifice much fish in order to get those extra potatoes. So uh, another thing you could think of that is that maybe the best potato farmers are the first ones producing, and then they also get to use the best land um, to produce potatoes. However, as you increase potato production, you could see the opportunity cost, the amount of fish you have to give up, uh, increases uh, as pr potato production increases. So to go from, you know, we're over here uh, at the, the lower part of potato production from zero to 200, you're, you're only sacrificing, you know, a small quantity of fish. To get this last 200 pounds of extra potato production, you have to sacrifice a huge quantity of fish production. You have to sacrifice 300 pounds of extra fish to get this. You can think of, of this stretch of increasing potato production as using, using like the, the most marginal land, the worst land, uh, applying the worst farmers. Um, you know, these, these people who would rather be fishing and are far better fishers are now being forced to do potato farming. Um, another way, another, um, so overall you could see that the production possibility frontiers curve is concave or bowed out. Um, and these points over here along closest to the edges, um, this one from increasing potato production from 800 to 1000 has the steepest slope and uh, increasing fish production from 650 to 750 has the lowest slope tells you that it has the these are the points that have the highest opportunity cost of this so for potato production the highest opportunity cost is associated with getting those last few hundred potatoes couple hundred potatoes uh, great I hope that was helpful and uh, thank you bye